I was fully broke. I never had no money. I never had no food. Right? I was Beat Central. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy in the Beat Central. Back with another mukbang. And this time, guys, I'm alone and I'm in Archie's in Leeds. I know the main one is in Manchester, but I thought I'd land down. I was starving. And I thought, you know what? Why not just create some content? Because I was in Leeds anyway for the day. And I thought, yo, why not just create some content? and go to Archie's, right? I heard there was an Archie's around the corner. And in fact, I was gonna go to the Taco Bell here initially, and what happened is, I found out it weren't halal. Online, I was, it said it was halal, but then I called them up, and then when I met some people here as well, they told me it's not. So when I found out the one I'd, I'd seen was the one in Bradford, which is halal. I'm gonna do a Taco Bell video at some point. That's one of the biggest Mexican franchises around the world, but guys, right now, I am at Archie's. I have their good burger, which is three smashed patties it's got cheese i think double cheese guide lettuce oh my god this burger is mad right here yeah? it smells delicious though no? i've got the what is it again well hot cheese fries got the milkshake the lotus biscoff milkshake as you know because i love my lotus biscoff and i got vimto what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna have a little munch this mukbang ain't gonna be too long i just thought why not do a mukbang we're here right now and the little topic I wanted to speak about. Let me take a bite of this. This one out. That's a good burger, though. That is a good burger. Mm. One thing I will say, I think they made the burger quite quite salty today. It's quite salty. I've had the good burger before. But this burger today tastes quite salty. Mm. Mm. It's nice still, but it's a bit too much salt. But I'm starving at the same time, so you know what I mean? I'm still gonna eat. But guys, um, it's definitely a lot of salt in that. I think the chef might have messed up today, but the burger, you can tell would be a good burger if they don't have that much salt and they got the beef. A bit soggy burger, but yeah. What else can I say? Um, I have had Archie before, I had it a long time ago. Had it in Manchester. That was pretty good though. Um, this one landed as well. Fries are decent. Quincy, you like my cane fries. Nice toasty sauce in them. Mm. 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 I'm starving, guys. But listen, the topic I wanted to talk about was insecurities. How to deal with insecurities. And this video, you know, I'm dedicating this to someone <coughs> called. Melissa, you know who you are. Um, she was telling me about her, that she felt insecure about certain things. I'm not going to say what, but she asked me, you should make a video about this, right? About insecurity, not just for herself, for other people. And I thought, you know what? Let me make a video for you. So basically, guys, you know, when it comes to having insecurities in life, you know, mm, 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 you can't mark the burrito. The burger is a fire burger. It's just that the less salt, <coughs> the less salt, the <coughs> more better. Mm. But yeah, it's an insecurity. So when it comes to insecurities, guys, you know many of us have insecurities in life because none of us are perfect. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I realize is that we've all got imperfections. But the thing is, you've got to understand that no one is perfect. So sometimes you're insecure about something that you think that someone else is happy having, but that person who's got what you're insecure about might not have what you've got. Mm. Mm. Some people might be insecure about the house they live in, they might be insecure about the clothes they wear, they might be insecure about the way they look, they might be insecure about you know how well they're doing their, their exams, they might be insecure about you know the fact that they went on holiday and they, you know they lived in a five-star hotel someone lived in a seven-star hotel like something crazy like that or something like that basically guys we always were always insecure about things because we feel like there are people out there who have got better than us right in these situations and i think that's what it stands for that's what insecurities are mm. Mm. because if you even we never, we weren't living in a world full of like social media, you know, people floating on social media and seeing so many people around us, you know, for example, 
spending way more than they should be on things that they probably can't even afford or you know having plastic surgery or crazy crazy things like that you know you probably wouldn't feel a lack of things but because we look around us and you see all the people you know probably driving you know a, a, a fancy car or wearing expensive clothes or you know living in a grand house and stuff like that on social media think you know hold up i haven't got that and we feel insecure sometimes that why haven't you got them things sometimes you might see someone in a relationship and feel insecure because you think oh um, i'm not in a relationship so there's do people not like me for example like you know it's things like that and what you gotta realize is it's not about looking at what you haven't got insecurity stem from what you haven't got and when you compare yourself to others in terms of when they have more when you perceive them to have more than you when you look at insecurities what you want to think is that yo what have those people who have got less than me not got that i have and that's what will make you feel better and, and appreciate even though you've got insecurities you still appreciate the fact that you've got a lot of things that most people haven't got for example if you haven't got a disability and you're watching this you're in a position where you're a lot better off than a lot of people out there who have got a disability i personally you know people have disabilities right if you're living in a first world country and you're watching this just know there's kids out there who are living in africa and asia or around the world with nothing you know Mm. You know, people out there with a lot less than you actually have and when you start to look at your insecurities and compare it to, to those with you ain't got as much as you've got in other aspects of your life then you'll start thinking you hold it one second what the heck am i stressed out about you know what i'm saying like, what, what are you stressed out about there's kids out there whose houses are getting bombed right now you know mm. this is a um lotus biscuit off milkshake but it's very thick. Mm. I'm gonna wait till it melts, melts because that nothing's coming up really. But guys, um, <laughs> it's like I'm blasting Archie's, but I'm not. Like literally, what, what, what I'm telling you the truth, guys, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, I want you to think in your head, guys. Yeah, like yo, like what have you got right now? that a lot of people haven't got what have you got sit down right now i think what are you grateful for right can you see if you're watching this video there's no other people who are blind out there mm. can you can you put the heater on in your house there's no other people out there who haven't got heating or anything like that and are living in cold countries right now mm. have you got washed clothes as another example of people out there who haven't can't even wash the clothes you know what I'm saying? they haven't got access to a washing machine right they might have to walk hundreds of miles or miles 10 20 30 40 miles to go to a river or something have you got water in the tap these are the kind of things i want you to realize like all the problems that you're complaining about or you're insecure about in your life anything in comparison to a lot of those people who haven't got what you've got i'm talking about those less fortunate don't just look at the people in this world I mean this like when I say for this world I mean like in first world countries look at people in like third world countries who haven't got much if you you're blessed enough to be living in a third world country and have just got access to watch this video right now you know I want you to still you do the same as well like if you're having a hard time still look at around you are the people with less than you have you got your body parts intact are you you know even if you've got a disability if you are blind for example and listen to this at least you can hear it like you know mm. 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 That was fire. Guys, that milkshake, that lotus biscuit is absolutely fire. Mm. Mm. They do some good milkshakes, yeah. Mm. Guys, yeah, so I'm saying, look, you got to be grateful. Grateful for what you have. And when you're grateful for what you have, you'll get more blessings in your life. But you've got to realize that you've got to stop focusing on what you lack and what you haven't got and then you're on your, on your imperfections and start to look at what you do have and be grateful for that and trust me you'll receive more and more blessings remember what i'm saying i'm going to repeat what i just said right instead of focusing on what you haven't got be grateful for what you do have don't focus on the imperfections because they are what make you perfect they say that it's not being perfect 
that is the best thing in life because no one is perfect. It's the imperfections within you and your life which make it perfect because they're unique to you. Does that make sense? Right? And that's what you've got to realize. Without them imperfections, without them struggles, you probably wouldn't strive for more. Right? You probably wouldn't. If you were the best and you were perfect at everything, you wouldn't want to do anything in life. To be honest with you, you'd probably be even more sad and upset because there'd be nothing to live for. You've already got everything. You are everything. You look the best. You have everything. What are you living for? In a sense, but when you're, you know, when you know that you, you you could have a lot more and do a lot more in life, right? But you're still grateful for what you've got and appreciate the position you're in and who you are and where you're going in life, guys. Your life becomes amazing, man, and it becomes a challenge and it's fun. You know what I'm saying? You know? mm. Hope I'm not waffling on. Mm. You know what? The food here is decent. This is decent. I've had a good burger before. In many other well. For some reason, I don't think they're ready for me today. But even the fries are not. They're right in that, but. Um, never complain about food, though. Be grateful for food. When you got food, number one thing, well, what did we get? Food? Be grateful to have food on the table, uh, table. You know, that's one thing that, even if you don't like the food, don't degrade it. Like, you know what I mean? Guys, there was times where I, I'll tell you one thing, one story right now. I don't know if I mentioned another McBrand before, I probably have, but I'll tell you again. When, now, this is my respect for the Sikh community. This is a message I'm going to give as a sign of respect for the Sikh community because. A time came when I was in university and I was fully broke. I never had no money. I never had no food. Right? I was in my flat and my flatmate, obviously he only had a little bit for himself, do you know what I mean? And he was like, he realized I was hungry and then he goes, bro, I've got a place for you to go where he goes, listen, it's about an hour and a half walk though, right? But it's a good wara, right? If you go there, they're gonna be open. Guys, it was around about 12 o'clock at night, right? And I go, forget it, I walked there, guys, I literally walked there, right, one hour and a half, walked there, guys, the doors were open, I walked in, looked around, it was so mad, it was actually open, you know what I'm saying, in Sheffield, guys, I remember I had dal, which is lentil, like curry, had rice, and I had rice pudding, guys, no one came to me and approached me, I could hear people in the room behind, but, and then cameras and everything, but they knew what I was doing, they must have been able to see, and this one got so much respect for the Sikh community, because while I'm a Muslim, but you know, it was a good war that day, which helped me and I was, I was struggling but now I'm here eating nice food. I'm grateful man. Mm. 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 You know what I'm saying though? I've had down times though. Mm. And this is why I strive so hard to become so successful. Mm. Because I want to provide. It's not just about me. I want to inspire everyone else out there to make it. But also, I want to do so well financially, not only because I want to give back, I'm going to give back a lot to the point, inshallah, right? Um, you will see that, and don't just take my word for it, you will see me travel the world, inshallah, doing amazing things for charitable causes, inshallah, and you're going to see that in the future, guys, yeah? Especially as my finances get even bigger, inshallah, mash inshallah and mashallah, everything's getting better right now, you know, especially at a time when I was homeless when I was 17. But also, guys, what I'm going to say to you is that, you know, I want to be in a position, a position where I can provide my future family and they don't have to go through the struggle that I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to give my future wife, my future kids, everything. I don't want them to be in a position where they look at something and they can't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might joke about with them and make them kind of work for it. So if you do this, don't worry, I'll get you it. Like, with my kids and my wife, I go, oh, listen. Like, especially my kids, like, yo, if you be good, you get the good grades, whatever you do, you know what, I'm going to buy you it then. But... I want to be in that position where I can do that, you know what I'm saying? And like, not just in a small, like, just a normal position. I want to be in like an amazing position. Mm. 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 Wake up in the morning, say to the family, wife and kids, listen, we're going to Los Angeles right now. Well, I might be living in Los Angeles actually. But we're going to Indonesia, we're going to Bali, we're going, we're just traveling the world, let's go for a weekend, let's go do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, you know, it's not just about the money, it's about the freedom. 
and I want to, I want to literally do that. And that's why I work so hard. This is why I work my ass off to build my brand. I'm a clumsy guy in it. But this is why I work so hard. So when you see me working hard, and you see me posting because it's a it's because I'm hungry. I'm hungry for success. Yeah. Oh, you ain't got long left. I'm going to be going back to Birmingham long. But I'm going to see if I can see how long this band has been going on for. It went on to be more than 20 minutes. Hey, brother. Excuse me. Uh, do you know what the time is? Please, yeah? Let's record a quick video. <laughs> Uh, thanks, brother. Yeah. Okay. So we're running for about 20, 20, nearly twenty minutes, guys. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But um, I bet I'll do some. We'll do some. We got less salt. It'll be way better. And I don't think that's that's the Archie's brand's fault. I think that's just today. Yeah. You know, guys, I've had so many five burgers recently. I've had so many, you know, that, you know, there's so many places out there. Like, in Birmingham, especially, you've got so many good, so much good food. But hopefully, this video helped, especially in the insecurities. And I want you to know that you're special, right? Like, if you're watching this right now, you are special. I want you to appreciate appreciate it. I want you to appreciate who you are. When you look in the mirror and say, I'm amazing. I'm grateful for everything I have. Right? And you are amazing. And I believe in you. And I believe you can do amazing things in life. You can become very successful. And you are going to become very successful. Just never give up. Keep pushing whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is. You know, some people, for example, they want to be doctors, but they don't get the grades to get into medicine. Right? So what they do is, they, you know, they might, it might take them longer, but they still get there. They might go study biomedical sciences. Then from the biomedical sciences, what they'll do is, obviously, they'll do that degree to three years, then an extra five years of uh, medicine. So they still did it. It took them longer, but they did it because they wanted to do it. So there's nothing that can hold you up. For you. Obviously, sometimes, when come to a certain sport, you might be limited, but you know what I'm saying? But obviously, they didn't want to make this mukbang too long. The milkshake was easy, right? Mm. Mm. What I'm going to say is make sure you like the video, comment on the video, share the video, guys, yeah? I said this weren't meant to be a long mukbang. It was a short one, and it was a random one. It was not planned. Mind you, right, I did think I'm going to quit a video, yeah, but I didn't know, like, in Leeds, but I didn't know what I was going to do. But Mukbang just came to mind. And also, let me know about any 24-hour challenges, guys. Um, I've got more to do. I see that you like the McDonald's one 24 hours. I'll do other places as well. Where else do you want me to see me do? And guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know I'm going to finish it with... Navid Central. Peace and love. What's that, Central?